Hello guys, it's Sandaje TV. And this is now the online TV yenye inakuambia the truth. Kenye gava ama any individual mwenye alikuwa ameshindwa kuambia the truth, Andanje TV will tell you. If you have forgotten to subscribe to my YouTube channel before you watch this video. Angalia pale juu pale simaandikwa subscribe and then subscribe. And uh, make sure that you may like you can even leave your comment kama video imekuwa smart. So nilikuwa nataka kuambia we are now talking about the current situation in yenye huyu jamaa anaitwa Kevin Kangede. Kevin Kangede is a, is a man is born is a man born in Kenya. But ni kama alikuwa na kitu inaitwa dual citizenship. Dual citizenship ni ile you can own citizenship in two, two or more countries. So this guy alikuwa based in US huko ndo alikuwa anakaa. And the incident ile happened mambo na heartbreak. Hatujui because sisi tuko Kenya. But what we know that uh, ame amekuwa suspected na murder case kwamba he, he kill his girlfriend and akamwacha kwa gari pale US So how is this how, how did this guy end up into this country He got he had a visa from from the US akapanda ndeka akakuja Kenya whereby hakuna mtu yote angem suspect by that time kwamba ni mtu amefanya mauaji US amekuja ametorokea Kenya So this guy ended in this country akaanza akaanza pale buruburu alikuwa anakaa buruburu nasikia alikuwa anakaa buruburu siji kwa rafiki kwa one of his relatives So siku moja kumba alikuwa alikuwa anatafutwa chini ya maji na madisi hai and he was called in Westland akipati usiku akapelekwa Mudaiga police station I, I, I think it's not the first time sisi wa Kenya tunapatana na story kwamba mfungo ametoroka ama mtu ametoroka seli ya mdaika it has been a very uh, it has been uh, ni, ni stories zimekuwa mingi sana hiyo seli watu kutoroka and why unajua nafaa tu ambaye ni ukweli mimi nimekuwa sel mimi mwenyewe nimeshikwa more than sijui ni more than 20 times Nimeshikwa mara mingi sana. Although mimi na kwanga maina mistakes maybe ya barabara. Maybe nimetuzi askari. Maybe nimekuwa kichongumu kwa askari wakati wanaitisha hongo na wakataza. Nashikwa. There's no way unaweza niambia. Kevin Kangede alichomoka hiyo cell bila connection ya askari. There's no way biko seli na kuanga na kuanga full seli huko imesicho huko unapita se, unatoka seli unakuja room nyingine hapa penye mnachanga vitu zenu unatoka pale unaingia kwa kwa receptionist ya maskari wana kuanga wamejaa pale unatoka pale unakuja and yet unakuanga seli na kiatu moja una mshipi ili ili ilipatikanaje huyu jamaa alipita gate na kiatu moja alipita hiyo gate na kiatu moja hakuna mtu alimsuspect hata askari wako kwa gate ilipatikanaje huyu jamaa alitoka na simu yake Kenya tuko watu wangwana from the OCS of Mudaiga paka kwa askari alikuwa pale wote wanajua what happened they know what happened this guy aliongana pesa akaongea na OCS akaongea na askari wa pale OCS akawaambia umurilisi mtu sa fulani sa fulani and because hiyo kesi ni ya mada nilikuwa huyu jamaa alikuwa ashapelekwa kotini koti imewaambia kwamba wamohol bifab apelekwa back to US lazima ingefunguka na waseme kwamba mtu fulani ametoroka ametoroka na hivi na hivi bro a head of friend of mine tulikuwa tu, nilimpata sel hiyo siku nilikuwa nimeshiku ukitaka kujua askari ni wakora askari mmoja alikuja akamwambia yeye ni DCI huyu jamaa alikuwa na kesi ya sijia 100000 kaambia yeye ni askari wa DCI Naenda kuna kesi nataka msaidie atoke kwa hiyo police station. Hiyo police station ni Central Police hapa. 
So uje makambia akapati akaenda ka pale akaongea na askari akapati uje masi makambia wewe collect collect pesa kutuma kwa hii namba yangu ikifika 30000 nakuja kuachilia. Au oh, kijana ali, ali collect pesa aka collect pesa aka collect pesa wakati ali collect ikafika ikafika 30000 huyu askari alipotea. Wakati sasa huyu jamaa alikuwa anachukuliwa za kulengea na peleka kotini akajaribu ku explain askari wote walimruka. Wote hata kuna mtu alitaka kwenda kumfanyia kufanya investigation juu ni askari mgani huyu alikuwa anaendesha pesa kwake. So this guy alihongana. Huyu kijana aliongana ndio akatoka. Wasitudanganye hapa ati sijui Kevin Kangeza ametoroka sana. Ametorokaje sel? Wajapata ukuta imevunjika. Ametoroka kutoka sel, akapita hiyo hiyo room ya kwanza, akakuja akapita receptionist, akapita askari wote, akapita paka kwa mlango, akapita paka kwa gate. Ai hapana. Akaenda paka stage akapanda gari. No no. No no. no. Kenya kila kitu ni, ni useless. Kenya kuna kitu ya maana useless things. Kuanzia kwa president sijui paka kwa nani. Useless people. Obado hata ifungwa. Obado hata ifungwa. And the truth is that Obado aliua. Sasa hiyo maajilia Maribe. Na mimi nilijua Maribe hata fungwa kwa sababu Maribe, Maribe ni mtu akona connection. Mimi sijasema Joe yako aliua. Lakini Maribe alikuwa kwa the scene, kwa pale kwa scene. Hata kama hangefungwa live ama pia kifungu mrefu angepewa 3 years ama 5 years. Because uh, gari yake ilipatikana pale kwa scene. Yeye mwenyewe alikuja akadanganya uongo. Lakini mnaachilia wewe free kwa sababu mko na nguvu kwa serikali. Kenya let us change. Unaona? So Kevin Kangeza ni mtu aliyohongana na wanajua what happened. Wenyewe wanajua. Wanajua si hata wajui. Hiyo pesa aliongana wameenda hivyo. Yeye mwenyewe ametafutwa ameshikwa. Sasa wamekula wame pesa. Maybe wenyewe walikula kwa hiyo sel. Osi sasa ameto order kwamba huyu mtu anani huyu mtu aachiliwe safari fulani. Askari wanamwachilia wanafutwa kazi. Hata sio kufutwa hiyo ni kuongo. Unaweza pata wamepigwa transfer ni kutu full tu. So tafadhali Kenya tafadhali. Let's behave. Thanks for watching. Kama uja subscribe. Subscribe. Share it. Unaweka TikTok, unaweka Facebook. Jina ni Andanje TV kila mali Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, kila mali Twitter Andanje TV. Be blessed.